All right, joined now by John Vogel from The Athletic. And John, let's start with this. Taylor Hall, right? The asking price for is reportedly a first-round pick, but maybe not able to get that based on previous deals. What do you think Hall is worth? Heading into the season, that was going to be a given. Hey, this guy, if things don't work out, we'll get a first-round pick. But obviously, things have not worked out uh, as planned. Just a couple, two goals heading into the month of April. Uh, just a disappointing thing. There's so many nights where you don't even notice them, which is... Uh, which is the, probably the biggest disappointment of all. However, there are a lot of options the Sabres could do. They could toss in a fourth or fifth round pick along with Taylor Hall to get a first round, or they can retain half of his salary, which I think that's going to be happening either way. Um, maybe they could throw in uh, a middling prospect just to get another first round pick or a better prospect. So they're, they'll have options to get a first round pick, but it won't be straight up for Taylor Hall anymore. With Hall's contract up, would it make sense for them to take another bad contract back if it was just for one year to help a team free up the room for somebody like Hall? They would, because with eight, with an $8 million salary going out, even if they keep $4 million on their books and by retaining it, they could take on a $3 million or $4 million uh, bad, someone who's scratched in, say, Boston, for example, just throwing that out there. Um, yeah, they can take on a bad contract. They wouldn't want a, someone with a multi-year deal because obviously they want a clean slate going in next year. But yeah, if there's someone with making $3 million who's just an odd man out in another city, then yeah, the Sabres can take that on, stay flat where they are with their cap and get another asset set or two in who do you think would be someone that's maybe a surprise deal right everyone's talking about taylor hall eric Stahl already shipped out to montreal who's someone that might be a surprise that buffalo winds up shipping out in your opinion in the next week here i think the two names they have to really look at are sam reinhardt and rasmus ristolainen obviously ristolainen has been talked about for years uh sam not so much um but the thing is with both of them they'll be they'll be they can be un unrestricted free agents after next summer do the Sabres think they're going to be a competitive team next year? If they do, then yeah, maybe they want to keep them around. But if they, if Kevin Adams takes a hard look at this organization and says, you know what, next year we're, we might not be a playoff team again, uh, it might be time to move on from those guys because you'll get a little bit more because teams won't be getting them as just a rental status. They'll have them for a year plus. Uh, which is a good thing because there's no guarantee either one will be here past next year. So if you don't think you can compete next year, it might be time to look into those two. Someone else who has been playing out of his mind this year for the Sabres, which is frankly a rarity, Linus Omark between the pipes, Elliot Friedman originally reporting that Toronto has at least inquired. What do you know about that? And what would the value back be for someone who has managed to play above 500 hockey between the pipes on a team that's this bad? It's crazy. I mean, it's if he had not been hurt, it's he could legitimately get Vezina Trophy candidacy just because the he was he can win with this team where no one else even comes close. He has more than a goal less per game allowed. Uh, he's got a winning record. I mean, this is just a. It's unreal how well he's played comparatively uh, to the other guys. So, yeah, if I were a team who had uh, who had playoff hopes and didn't have a great backup, then, yeah, I would definitely go for Linus Allmark. Uh, it's, since he might not be a starter on most of those teams, I don't think you can get more than a second-round pick probably for him. But that would be worth looking into. Is that what you think would be better for the Sabres and better for Kevin Adams is draft picks as opposed to pro